Hello, my love. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary and Professional Astrologer. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for clicking. In this video, as you can tell by the title, we'll be pulling the charts and the cards, and I will be giving you all the information that is that you're going to need in order to energetically prepare for the week ahead. This week is August 31st, and for those of you guys that don't know, or for those of you guys that need a reminder, for the last month I've been on a bit of an exclusive um, spiritual retreat where I was pulled back and spending a lot of my time focusing on being, exploring, I should say, being nurtured, nourished, and so supported by spirit the divine in a way that I've haven't really experienced in a long time. It's been so good for my soul, so good for my spirit. I feel so filled, I feel so fulfilled, and I'm so grateful. I know that 2020 has been a tremendously ridiculous year for massive transformation, massive upheaval, massive removal of, you know, the breaking down of these ways that we have become accustomed to the world being and our internal world being. Um, and if you were, you know, conscious of it, if you're aware of it, if you're spending that time with the divine, or maybe if you were uh, a subscriber to my YouTube channel or following me on Instagram, you've been saying that this is the year for, um, you know, not, I don't want to say retreat, but really going in, inside and pulling from a space of inner strength um, while the world as we know it is under massive transformation. These breakdowns are there to create breakthroughs into this new world that it is that we've been ushered into. This was not this year that this happened. This has started, uh, I wanna believe, six years ago. That's when I got my first vision, my first proph prophecy to buckle up. That's what, what Spirit told me while sitting at my altar in Philadelphia, which is amazing. Anyways, um, I do wanna say that, you know, if you know how to work with the energy of the planets, they will work for you. It will not feel like it's beating up on you so much. And if you understand boundaries and connection, and if you're practicing that and applying that, you will fare better than those who don't. If everything has access to your energy, then you will find that everything is draining you. If you know how to, again, work, watch what's happening in the planets, you can apply it in your life in a way that gives you, that sustains you and doesn't drain you, doesn't deplete you. Of course, there's gonna be massive lessons that are happening because that's happening for all of us. But those lessons are there, again, well, okay, let me say this. Spirit and the universe does not prioritize our comfort. It prioritizes our evolution. So if we are open um, and flexible with what spirit is doing in our lives and how spirit is moving and what needs to happen, what needs to occur, while also upholding, maintaining, and learning how to have healthy boundaries and learning how to connect with the divine, we have nothing to worry about. We'll have this sense in our spirit that there's nothing for us to worry about. And you will, while the weight of the world and the weight of the planets is applying its pressure, you're not going to succumb to it. You're not going to fall victim to it. You actually become empowered by it. You actually become stronger because of it. And the only thing that will be destroyed are, is the old identity, the old ego. So I say all that to say that these are the things that we're going to be talking about in this week's video as far as what this energy is going to look like and how you can apply it to your life now. So I'll be working with the Nature Speak Oracle deck to help to trigger additional messages by the images that it is I'm seeing. That's something that helps me to work with my gifts. And on the left, I have the chart, the astrological chart pulled for this week ahead of what it is that we can expect. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First thing that is standing out to me, just legit, just tickles me, tickles my energy. It's this beautiful, supportive beam of energies that are just radiating from the chart. It's going to be different, it's going to feel different for everyone, but I would love to see everyone working with this energy in very similar ways. It's very, intro it's very introverted, it's very internal, it's very quiet, comforting, soft, grounded energy, even though we have water water energy working here with uh, Venus sitting in the sign of Cancer, Neptune retrograde in the sign of Pisces. 
So that will trigger our emotions, our feelings, but really what it is that I'm seeing is not in a way that this triggering that's happening this week is not there to create explosive, um, you know, explosive, I, I, I don't know if I have a better word outside of triggers, but it's not there to ex trigger you and make it explosive. It's there to nurture you, to support you. I'm almost getting or hearing um, this connection. It's not that I'm hearing, I'm making a connection between water, baptism, and blessing yourself, working with water in order to heal yourself, soothe yourself. So as 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 Venus is moving through the sign of Cancer, as Mercury is moving and the Sun is moving through the sign of Virgo, as Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn are retrograde moving through the sign of Capricorn, and these planets, by the way, have been, create, have been creating the most massive change for all of us. This is what we, what we've been seeing in the infections um, with the diseases or the virus of uh, coronavirus. This is what we've been seeing in the breakdown of politics and businesses. This is what's been making us all collectively feel isolated. Why? Because these planets rule this energy of massive transformation, global connection, and this space of being pulled away from the rest of the world, but also seeing how we're connected to the, to the rest of the world. This is why we're all holed up in our home environment spaces, not really quote unquote allowed to leave. Meanwhile, Neptune is moving through the sign of Pisces is causing us to really question what is most important and valuable to us to connect to this higher space of spirituality and divine connection and messages but as as we are doing that I'm I'm it there's never really like all good all bad it's just it is what it is as you're doing this internal um, searching and seeking in your spiritual uh, muscle is being stretched. There are people and certain things that reveal themselves to be manipulative, to be um, like selling, selling things or selling themselves in a way that is not who they are, does not, is not an accurate ref reflection of their actual intentions. This is not just something that we're seeing in government politics and business, but very much so in the spirituality community and healing modalities. So it's how we heal ourselves, how we connect to the divine, and who is a safe space for that to happen to occur. So I'm saying all this to say that this week, there's this very heightened, um, encouraging energy that says, go to your internal state of being, your internal space of being. It's very introverted, it's very internal seeking. It's not that it, you're asking yourself questions, like these deeper knowing questions. I'm actually getting a lighter space of questions that is that you're asking yourself. What makes me happy? Why am I giving my energy to this? What is it that I need? What type of uh, presence and vibe does this person bring to my life? What type of presence and energy and vibe do I give to their lives? What do I want my legacy to be? These, those, some of those questions are heavy, but it comes from these smaller steps, right? Sometimes our massive, our most massive and meaningful changes come from these small steps um giving ourselves grace giving ourselves the space to move and to show up for ourselves and to other and what what is that what exactly does that look like so that's something that's coming through i feel as though you guys look see as i'm even pulling this we have fog and mist and marshland transition and change so what i'm seeing and what i'm observing this week for us is really Instead of looking out into this bigger picture, I'm seeing you looking into the specific details, especially with Sun and Mercury moving through the sign of Virgo. Virgo's energy is about detail specifics, organization, and making sure that what we see and what is here serves us and serves the greater good, the higher collective. So I'm really hearing, as I said, as I was saying collective, it started echoing. So spirit is guiding me to, to focus on the collective, this collective energy for this week. As I'm doing that, I'm seeing a deer. That's so funny. It's there by itself, but it's not alone. And this deer, it's interesting because it's actually my spirit, one of my spirit guides. But when the, the, the deer shows up for me in my life and in my journey, 
it's a reminder that I don't need to be seen to be really seen. I don't need to be seen in order to be seen. That means that wherever you are at in this week, no matter what your life is looking like, I feel as though sometimes to be still, to be quiet, you will be seen by spirit, guided by spirit, connect with spirit more in that way versus being loud, being distracted, active and engaging. We're in that, the, the, the divine timing of that message is everything and spirit is definitely supportive because Mars is actually about to go retrograde, right? Mars is how we move, how we, our drive, our ambition, how we are, you know, our action. What is it that we're actively needing to do? What does spirit want us to do? Mars is moving through the sign of Aries. So it's very much a dominating force that wants to put itself out there, defend, protect, and to take that leap of faith, to take that first step that requires faith, conviction, strength, motivation, ambition. Um, but I'm, as Mars is going to start moving retrograde and start taking steps back, some of you guys are going to feel as though, you know, is it safe for me to take a step back? Because I was, you know, that you're everything right now is is in the in the planets and the skies and our society is saying go 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 raw rage. You know what I mean? But this week starts this internal, um, you know, pulling within where you are called not to fight the good fight. The fighting the good fight, I don't know if that means something for someone, but fighting the good fight for you means to actually surrender. Surrender to God's will, surrender to the, to the universe, or surrender to these messages that spirit wants to download into your life. As I'm saying that, Mercury, the planet of communication and the, the, the messenger of the gods, who truly, well, okay, I almost jumped ahead, but Mercury is moving to the sign of Virgo, uh, sextile Venus, um, trying, well, was trying Jupiter, gonna be trying Pluto, and then tr trying Saturn. Mercury is making and directly opposite, opposing Neptune. So, Mercury, this messenger planet, is coming through, and really, I'm hearing, wants to give you detailed, specific insight and clarity into what you need, what you want, what you need to hear. What is Mercury, you guys? Mercury has always been the messenger of the gods. What is the messenger of the gods? The messenger of the gods is angel, right? The angel. If you look up the definition of what angel means and what an angel is, it is the messenger of God, the messenger of the divine, the, the, mes the messenger of the creator is overseeing energy. If you believe it or whether you don't, but it's the messenger of this, you know, higher, higher vibrational, you know, space of being of love that wants nothing but the best for us or that there's this, this mindset, this energy that, you know, har makes all of us harmonious, work harmoniously together. So that is what we're working with in this chart and with this week. Mercury m rules Virgo right and that's where mercury as i'm if you guys see me scratching my nose or it's the tickling on my nose my angels literally just come in and tickle my nose so what i'm seeing is i feel as though you guys are going to be the more that you create this space you're prioritizing this space to connect with these messages to, to connect with these thoughts to connect with these ideas that spirit that the divine is working in order to give to your life right now this week you will get you will get you will be delivered so much clarity you'll be delivered so much direction this is the week i feel of not only you receiving direction but you being um a directive a, a force of or voice of direction in someone else's life as i'm saying that it's that you being a leader is not for everyone um i don't want anyone to abuse that power to be like oh well i received this message i received this information so this is going to i have to share it with the rest of the world some the best leaders are the ones that lead by example that means that the very detailed specifics of their life, the words that they're saying, the energy that they bring speaks louder, right? Than them making these, you know, calling the shots or being a, 
um, you know, saying this is how we do it, this is the way that needs to be done, or I've noticed this about you and how this, it, that can be very forceful, that can be very draining, especially during today's times. The, the leader that's going to be the most effective or how you can be most effective is by leading by example, by the energy that is that you bring. Again, in this interior world, I, I just heard cavity. So I'm seeing you guys entering to this space where um, where you or your your spirit, it's like a cavity that's going to that wants to get filled by spirit, that wants to get filled by the divine to give you clarity, precision, direction with what needs to change, with where things need to go, with what where things people where things belong, what people belong in your life, what things need to be canceled out. Okay, so as you're moving, it's not this um, forceful you know um pushing energy it's not abrasive it's very gentle okay as i'm looking at this look borderland hidden realms open up so if you create this cavity if you create this space spirit will move the divine will move the angels will move to speak to you in a way that is clear and precise that creates balance we have the maple tree here relationship balance Relationship balance is not only your relationship with the universe, with others, but your relationship with yourself, your relationship with food, your relationship, your spiritual relationship with the divine or whatever it is. It's your relationship with all things. And the next card is cattail, spread seeds. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully it focuses for me. Maybe not. Just you're going to have to trust my word there. But it's really about where it is that you are called to give your energy to to get but also mm -mm, as i'm saying that i hear i heard the cavity spirit is going to plant seeds into the womb of your existence into the womb of your spiritual self into the womb of your relationships allow yourself to receive that again i'm really hearing you guys um or i'm really hearing spirit um calling you guys to speak to the angels to talk to them directly they are the messengers of god they will come to us faster they'll speak to us faster sometimes than if we're just you know waiting for these signs and these signals you know i'm also getting journaling so a lot of you guys this week are going to be working with journaling um lighting incense kind of what it is that i have here lighting incense burning candles setting intention for what these messages that divine is ready to give to your life to help you to plan to prepare for the next stage that's the, the that's these seeds that are seeds that are getting planted. That, those are those seeds that are coming through for you. Um, yeah, so that's really what is I'm seeing this week um, with this marshland and fog. Be cautious. Be cautious and transition. This is because also this week we have the Pisces, the Pisces full moon. Pisces is very Pisces energy this year is tough. It's really tough to deal with. Even Pisces people are getting kind of lost in their own ocean because the planet that rules them is has been retrograde for quite some time, but also it's retrograde in the in the planet that is that it rules and which is Pisces. And that's Neptune retrograde in Pisces. So it creates this wave. It creates this ocean of sensitivities of and what does it mean to be sensitive it means to pick up on the vibrations of what's going on in your world what's going on in your planet your relationships etc so it can really overwhelm the senses it can really be a lot a lot energetically a lot to deal with especially pisces energy whether you're a pisces person sun moon or rising or yeah it can it can really overwhelm and bombard who you are, what you're doing, the energy, it can really mist over you being able to acknowledge the energy that you bring, your connection to the divine, your feelings and uh, concepts of what is real, what is re like reality. This is not only just Pisces people, some of you know, a lot of other, a lot of us are under the same, well, we're all under the same influence of the planet, so we all can feel it in different ways. So um, it just, it really depends on what Neptune, where Neptune is moving through your personal chart. And again, this, this reading is for a general audience. So I really want you guys to be mindful and aware of, you know, what is real, what is true, what is solid for you. How does, 
how is what you're bringing into your life especially with mercury uh sun and mercury moving through virgo it's asking you to have discernment and clarity into what you are allowing your body and what you're allowing your energy to to, to have and to hold on to spirit is going to give you the, the clarity, the direction, the precision that it is that you are going to need, um, especially if you're calling calling specifically to work with the angels, these messengers of God, right? At the same time, while you're doing this, I feel as though you guys are going to, you need to be reminded to let your words be of love and light. If, if the angels are moving, right, and moving and speaking God's word or speaking divine's will or speaking you know what's happening in the universe with clarity you are part of that and you are an angel of love and light if you allow yourself to be you could be the very prophetic message that someone needs to hear or you could be the energy that someone needs to feel or you could be the energy that you need in order to create a massive shift again i'm bringing back to this i'm brought back to this space of um when spirit says the cavity you guys are this you know this this hole right now so if if that's where we're at, if this internal hole, we're looking into this cavity, we're looking into the, the abyss into ourselves and this, you know, what's going on in the universe, then, and what's going on into the planets, then we want to make sure that the energy that we're putting into that cavity or the energy that we're allowing into ourselves is something that is of light, of a higher vibration and of love. That brings me back to the vision that it is that I saw earlier with this deer moving it was by itself, but it wasn't by itself. And I saw this huge sun sunrise. It was like in this big, 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 big sun. Sun, it's not sunrise, sunset. Because it was really orange and very red. So this is showing me this space of sacral and root chakra energy and the, 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 con, the completion, the ending of this cycle. And that has already happened, that has already occurred, but while you are entering into this new space, right? Hidden realms op open and these new seeds that are being planted, while you are entering into this space, and as I'm looking at it, this these flowers or these leaves look exactly like the sunset that I was just talking about. But as you are entering into this, uh, as you have already entered into the space, because this has already occurred, spirit has made that dress dramatically clear. <laughs> but I'm seeing that not everybody needs to see you, not everybody needs to have access to you, and if you feel like you need to be seen, heard, and pushed out, especially now when these planets are preparing to shift up, so Jupiter and Saturn are turning, going to be going uh, direct this month, and even Mars is turning retrograde, these planets are creating, they're, they're, they're shifting their energies, right? So if you are in a space where you feel so, you have to ask yourself, is it my ego that is pulling me to speak out and to scream out? Or is it this higher sense, this higher space, this higher love, this God-like energy, the angels, whoever? Really ask yourself in, in that cavity space, why do I need to, to push out there? Why do I need to be the loudest one in the room? What am I really trying to say? What is my goal? What am I trying to accomplish? Because as the deer shows up, it's not the loudest person that makes the most impactful change and meaningful change if that's what they are called to do. Sometimes it's the most, it's the quiet. And sometimes you don't need to be seen by or heard by everyone. It's in your best interest to lay low. Your gentleness, your compassion, your grace, your softness, your feminine energy that you tap into is going to make the most profound change in your life, but also in the lives of others. Be very mindful of the, the energy and the words and the love, the energy and the words that, is that you bring, let it be from a space of love and light. The more that you connect to that space, um, that cavity space and spend create the space for the divine to speak and angels to speak into your life, the more that you'll become enlightened, the more that your steps will be divinely guided, divinely timed. You'll never have, you'll never second guess yourself. You'll never wonder, am I doing the right thing? Am I saying the right thing? Um, am I making a difference? What difference am I called to make? What is my purpose? All of those questions will be answered. And I'm also seeing you guys journaling them and capturing them, okay? So I hope that that reading makes sense. I'm gonna be doing a pick a card reading in my next video, which will be uploaded or I will be, I'll link it down below. 
Um, but in the meantime, you guys, I really want to offer you love and healing, especially with this card at the very bottom and base of this deck. You can find all of that love, healing, balance, messages, intuitive guidance, counsel, clarity here on my YouTube channel. So I invite you to subscribe, but also on my website, home base bahadilife.com where you can connect with me, my oils, my rituals, the services that is that I provide. All of those things are going to be reopening. Look at this, maintain hope. I love that, you guys. Look for look for hope even if it doesn't want to even if it doesn't make itself so obvious and clear to you, it is there. But my readings will be opening in October. The Apothecary is opening in September, September 10th. That means that you'll have access to my oils, my intentional oils, um, candles, fixed candles, and anything else that is that you're gonna need in order to work your magic, to manifest, to heal, to be healed, okay? Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.